How are we doing, everybody? Welcome, welcome. My name is Jill, your English coach. If you have not met me, it's nice to see you. Our new sounds for today that we're kind of looking at are the ah sound and the uh sound. Uh, in my opinion, is the most important sound in the English language. There are kind of two versions of it. There's a stressed and an unstressed. But if you really, really, really want to sound like a native speaker, you're going to learn this sound and when you can reduce things. Because ultimately, this sound, ugh, so I always think it's like if somebody punches you in the stomach, it's like, ugh. or if somebody's thinking, they say, uh, uh, that's that sound. It's, uh, and the idea is that if you can learn this sound really, really well, and you know when to use it, your English will sound a lot more fluent and native. Okay, so let, looking at these words, we've got the ah sound. So we just kind of practiced those in our on the desk here. Father, college, probably, hot, knowledge. This is one that people make a mistake with a lot. They want to say knowledge because it looks like that. So I understand. <laughs> and then guard guard. The uh sound. So we're going to jump into this quite a bit today. Husband, money, bus, come, love, blood, does, country, what, and was. So this is all, so this is uh, this is the schwa sound. Okay. And what does schwa mean? It's it's the sound that we use when we reduce words. So here, for example, let's give some examples. Banana, open, let's see what else tonight. That's a good one, status, command. So in this, in this list, this sound, uh, we're gonna use this because they're all stressed. So what does that mean? We have husband, two syllables, husband. The stress, if we separate here, the stress is here. So this uh sound, this sound is right here on the stressed syllable, okay? Money, two syllables, right? One, two, uh is on the stressed syllables. Bus, that is stressed because it's a single, just one syllable. Come, one syllable. Love. Blood, does, country, uh, 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 same thing here. Country, so it's two syllables, country. Um, the first syllable is the one that is stressed because it goes country, country, okay? What and was. So that's the uh sound in the stressed position. Now, when we talk about schwa in the unstressed vowel sounds, what does that mean? So let's, first of all, let's start with these five words. Let's divide the words into their syllables first. So command, come and, status, right in the middle, banana has three. So ba, na, na, okay, open, Open has two. Tonight, tonight has two. Okay. So we've got two, two, three, two, two. Step one is done. Now let's decide which syllable is stressed. I'm going to say it and I want you guys to put one, two, or three. Which syllable does has the stress? Command. Command. Yep. The second syllable has the stress. I'm going to just put a dot over the stressed syllable, okay? Status. Status. So it goes up and then down. This one is stressed. So status. Status, okay? Listen to this next one that has three syllables. Banana. Banana. Mm -hmm. The second syllable. So also paying attention to what happens in that syllable that is stressed. What happens in this syllable or in this one or in this one? Command, 
command. I'm I'm like shorten or making this, I'm calling it reduce com command. But this part is very clear. It is longer and it is typically louder. Clear, long, loud. That's the kind of three characteristics of a stressed syllable. So stressed syllables are typically longer, more clear, and a little louder, or the pitch goes up, you know? So command, status, banana, open, open. So that's stress there. We don't say open. It's a totally different sound. The word doesn't make sense. So stress really does matter. And this is a great time to talk about this. We will go into um, word stress more in pronunciation and fluency too. Um, so in the June classes, uh, but this is, it's nice to kind of mix all of it into the classes now because otherwise we get there. First of all, this becomes boring, but this is why this is really this reduction idea is why we study the vowel sounds because it becomes very important when you start looking at stress in words, stress in um, sentences, and then rhythm and intonation and all of those things that kind of come together to make somebody sound more fluent. Okay, so tonight, tonight, the stress is on that second syllable. Okay, so now we know how many syllables, we got that. We know which syllable is stressed. The, the last part we're gonna look at is how we, what happens in the unstressed syllable. So this is stressed and we know what happens there. The stressed syllable is longer, it's more clear, and it's a little louder, okay? Longer, more clear, and louder. So command, command. This part here, we are actually reducing, okay? What does that word mean, to reduce something? We are reducing the unstressed syllable. Let's just write that here so everybody can kind of get a really clear picture. That's just a natural part of English. So we, we say the stressed part longer, clearer, louder. This part gets reduced because if we don't reduce it, command, you sound like a robot, okay? Nobody wants to sound like a robot. Okay, so this is where this part, this sound comes into play. Because what happens is instead of saying command, we actually reduce this sound to uh, okay? And that's where we use this. Even though it's the same sound as these, these are in stressed positions, the unstressed sound, we're gonna use this upside down E. Command, status, eh. so this sound here, status. So this is nice and clear, status. This okay, banana. The stress is in the middle. This ah is very clear. The other ones uh and uh. So there's two unstressed. There's uh and i. And actually, in my opinion, this is an i sound. So this one is the most common for unstressed syllables, okay? We have these two. These are your winners right here, i and a. Uh. So status, in my opinion, that's i. Open, i. This is also i, okay? Tonight, a, uh, tonight. So it's stressed here. Over here is a, uh, this little a uh sound. Really tiny, really short sounds. That's what both of these are, i and a. Uh. I hope that makes sense to you guys. We're going to dive into that a little bit more.